Are you new to jump rope? Here are 10 of the most important footworks I want you to be able to master. Starting with number one, the basic bounce. The basic bounce is the first footwork anyone new to jump rope needs to learn first. This is where we jump in with both feet together, one to two inches off the floor, staying nice and light on our feet. Now, when we're doing this footwork, we wanna make sure that our arms are by our side, our elbows are flexed back behind the body, and it's our wrists that are in this pocket position, spinning the rope. I want you to just find a nice controlled tempo, and I wanna see if all these 10 different types of footwork, you can perform them all for 60 seconds without messing up or breaking your form. So we start off by learning the basic bounce first, and then progress to footwork number two, which is hopping. Hopping is great for building up that single leg strength, that balance and that coordination. It's really tough when you first start learning how to hop, but learning how to hop second is gonna progress or make you progress a lot easier to different types of single leg footwork where we're sharing the workload between both legs. So hopping is where we're keeping that body nice and upright, staying on the balls of our feet, staying nice and light. But now we're hopping on one leg, our legs are having to work extremely hard. But what that will do is it'll make progressing to now different types of footwork a lot easier. So footwork number three is the boxer skip. So here we go. Now we're just hopping once, but we're shifting the weight from side to side. I'm over-exaggerating this now, but once you get that weight shift going, I want you to make it even smaller. Then I want you to add the touch with the opposite foot. Now we're doing the boxer skip. The reason why it's so beneficial is because now we're sharing that workload evenly from both feet. We're able to skip for longer periods, which makes skipping a little bit more enjoyable and it gives our calves a little bit of a break. So again, once you can perform the boxer skip for 60 seconds without messing up or breaking your form, progress to footwork number four, which is the run skip. Because we've put that work in, we've built up the strength by hopping, the run skip now doesn't feel so challenging. It's one hop with a quick rebound time, bringing that knee up. And as you can see now, this is a great one to improve your fitness, gets your heart rate going, and it can add a different level of intensity when you're doing your warm-ups or your skipping workouts. Once you can perform the run skip for 60 seconds without messing up or breaking your form, progress to footwork number five, which is the side straddle. This is now gonna test your control, your timing, and your coordination. It's a bit like a star jump where our feet are going in to out. Because we're practicing different types of footwork, it's great to improve your fitness, your balance, your coordination, and your footwork, because now we're getting comfortable moving our feet in different directions, whilst maintaining good form and control, keep making sure that our technique is staying consistent throughout. Once you can perform the side straddle like I'm doing now, for 60 seconds without messing up or breaking your form, see if you can perform number six, which is the front straddle, where we're in this split stance alternating motion, going from foot to foot. As you can see now, these variations of footworks are getting a little bit more challenging, but it makes learning how to jump rope enjoyable because you're pushing yourself to learn different types of footwork that are all gonna be great when you're progressing to different types of jump rope workouts or advanced combos. Once you can do number six, which is the front straddle, we're gonna go toe taps. This is a boxer skip variation. I want you to see if you can perform toe taps now, touching the toe out ahead of you like this, for 30 seconds without messing up breaking form. What we're gonna share with toe taps is heel taps. Now we're getting comfortable with touching our feet in different directions. This is a little bit more challenging. Our footwork and our body, our mind, our coordination, and everything that comes with it. Improving that footwork. Once you can do that, we're gonna progress to footwork number eight, which is the lateral boxer skip. Again, we love boxer skip variations because it enables us to improve our balance, our coordination, but it lets us skip for longer periods. The lateral boxer skip is where we're touching the foot out towards the side. So you can see now, as I progress through from the basic bounce right through now to the lateral boxer skip, how all these footworks are slightly different. And it's important as a beginner to be able to master all these footworks individually, practicing, seeing if you can perform them all for 60 seconds without messing up or breaking your form. Then we can progress to number nine, which is the double boxer skip. Now we're adding two hops on each side, giving our skipping that boxer flex. But because we've progressed through each of these variations, 
these in more advanced footworks now don't feel as challenging because we've earned the right to get here. We've improved our fitness, our confidence, our stamina, our technique, as well as our footwork. Okay, once you can do the double boxer for 60 seconds, progress to footwork number 10, which is gonna add a little bit more flair, which is the heel to toe shuffle. Start off by hopping, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Do the other leg, toe, heel, toe, heel. And then see if you can just get that alternating motion going. This one's nice and fancy. It's gonna add some more style to your skipping game. But as you can see, all 10 of these different types of jump rope footworks are gonna build up your confidence. They're a lot of fun when you're practicing them. And I spent a lot of time at the start of my journey practicing these, setting myself little challenges to see if I can perform each one individually for 60 seconds without messing up or breaking my form. For you, that is a fun ladder for you to practice. So if you're new to jump rope, start with a basic bounce. See if you can work all the way through to the heel to toe shuffle. Make sure if you've liked this video and you're following my tutorials to let me know how you're getting on in the comment section and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'll be posting more helpful content to help you guys elevate your jump rope skills so you can enjoy the experience of learning how to jump rope as much as I do. If you want a little bit more help with learning these types of footwork, then check out my online coaching program which is Beginners Footwork and Fitness Program. This is where I dive deeper into practicing all these footworks in a fun and structured way. This program is available to buy at eddyjumps.net. Good luck with your footwork. Make sure you keep me posted with your progress. Now let's go.